Okay, so Pi News episode 81, and this is a special one because it's coming from a Raspberry Pi 5. And don't worry, it's probably only a short one as uh, you're probably overloaded with Pi 5 information at the moment. But uh, first up from uh, the Raspberry Pi website, just to announce the price really. Uh, so $60 for the 4 gig Raspberry Pi 5 and $80 for the 8 gig Raspberry Pi 5. I didn't have that information when I made my video that I released earlier today, but I'm really impressed with the price. With that sort of connectivity and uh, performance and everything, yeah, I'm definitely pleased. And next up is about the lack of a three and a half mil socket for audio and also for video. For the audio bit and something that I'm using, which you might have picked up at the start, you can see it's a three and a half mil uh, headphone jack and microphone to USB adapter. Although this one is a little bit chunky and doesn't leave a lot of space for other things plugged in. So it's not ideal, but it does work. And if you've already got one, because they're quite common, just right click on the speaker and uh, go to device profiles uh, and I found if you turned off HDMI I'm pretty sure that was all I needed to do so then if we pick one of my videos there you go so the audio comes out the speaker works really well for me because I capture the HDMI sound when I make Pi News and, and other videos and uh, so if I've got the audio going separately to a speaker over an analog cable it means I can monitor it because uh, quite often I'll record something and have the audio playing in the background. I don't know it's there because I can't hear it playing through the capture device. So on Amazon, probably a sensible one would be something like this, which has got a very small USB-A connection. Uh, when you find you know, most of the ones where they've got the connection directly in them, they may be a bit too wide for the USB sockets because they're all quite close together. So something like this U-Green one could come in handy. I'll put a link to some in the description. It's also worth checking what operating systems they work with. They generally work with Linux anyway. Oh, you can see that one, look. Uh, it says PlayStation 4, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Mac, Windows, and Android as well. So compatibility is really good. So next up, obviously there's been loads of YouTube videos today. Uh, Jeff Gearling's video is getting loads of views. It's an excellent video. Uh, I can't believe he's already plugged a GPU into it. Uh, yeah, really good information. He really dives deep into these things. So definitely, if you're gonna watch one Raspberry Pi video, uh, that's the one I recommend you watch. So on the gaming front, ETA Prime uh, also covered it a little bit, as did I. So we both did PPS SPP. I'm not sure if he used Vulkan. Uh, I definitely had better performance with Vulkan, but he also had Redream, so Dreamcast emulator. That's another one we can put on the list of things that work at this very early stage. I'm glad to see I'm in there somewhere. So next up, already an op. I mean, obviously nobody's really got these apart from people who've got them early. Recall Box has a version available on the download section so if we go to Raspberry Pi so I will be downloading that Raspberry Pi 5 experimental that brings loads of things really interested in that so let's download that one what is it a gig in size I had a comment from Jose the creator of PyKiss he's ordering a Pi 5 so he's going to be updating PyKiss to support the Pi 5 which is great he'll work his magic on that and he'll make a lot of things easier to install and last up from Pi Hut is where I pre-ordered my Raspberry Pi. They're all listed on the Raspberry Pi site, so if you go into the Raspberry Pi site, actually the way I found it, there wasn't a buy now option on the Raspberry Pi 5. I went to the Raspberry Pi 4, found the authorized resellers and, and went through there. Some of them didn't have any Pi 5 information when I looked quite early on. The Pi Hut did, and I've ordered a four gig and an eight gig Pi 5. And I've also ordered some accessories. So I've ordered two of these, the 27 watt USB power supply. And that's because USB-C generally only supports up to three amps when it's five volts. You'll often see on a charger that it might support more amps and more watts, but actually at five volt, they generally top out at, uh, at three amps. And the Raspberry Pi has got a new upgraded power supply so the so the input of the power and how it deals with power it's now able to cope with five volt five amps so i'm definitely looking forward to overclocking when i get that adapter and another thing which will enable overclocking is the active cooler and i've ordered one of those as well so i look forward to that coming through there isn't a date on it yet i didn't bother with the raspberry pi 5 case uh, because i think my one that i've shown in my video i i prefer the look of but also there'll be loads of different options and hopefully one that supports that PCIe slot. And I don't think there's anything else there. Oh, one thing I noticed in Jeff Gearling's video is the ribbon connector for the displays and the camera. 
where have we got it, cables, is the same one as the Raspberry Pi Zero uses, uh, which is, it goes from smaller to larger, I can't see it on here. Okay, so I didn't manage to see it, but I've got one inside here. Uh, this is my, well, what I was using Motion iOS on with my Zero 2W, and uh, it's a little 3D printed case, which I really like. But you can see from this cable that it goes from thin or narrow to wider, and if we compare that to one of the standard display and camera cables, they're the same at both ends. So yeah, if you're gonna use it with a display or a camera, you're gonna to need to order one of those cables. So I've already got one, although that's super short and I wanted to test out displays. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to order some of those. Anyway, so just a short one, because I realized there's so many Pi 5 videos about at the moment. Uh, I've got uh, another Pi 5 video about trying loads of different Pi 4 cases. Uh, which will be coming soon and also I've got my Raspad build which is uh, not actually a long video but it's putting a Raspberry Pi 5 inside a tablet. I've done a short video on that if you're interested in seeing what it looks like but the full video will be there soon. And if we find out about any more operating systems uh, so like Recallbox working already uh, please let me know in the comments I always appreciate it. Okay so I hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe.